This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me on IFL today, I've got a world champion, uh, Lee Wood. It must have sunk in by now, eh, Lee? Yeah, um, like anything, Lee, you, when you get to somewhere, you want more. You know, when you achieve something, um, like I did with the British, like Commonwealth, like anything else, like you want to you want to achieve your maximum potential. Not, not, not being greedy or anything, but it's all about, you know, worked hard since you was a kid, get to that level, and you just want to keep you know, you want to keep winning. You want to keep, you want to keep just reaching your maximum potential. I guess. Hundred percent. I mean, one of the most uh, dramatic stories I feel recently in British boxing to to go and stop your opponent to win the British title and then stop your opponent to win a world title in your next fight. That's it. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it's exactly what happened. Yeah, I think I don't know if there's anyone else that's done that jump from British to world. But I did say before, you know, it's not like I'm scraping for a British level and Cornwall title level. I've I've won by knockout. Um, every single title I've won, every single one now, from uh, Masters titles, two Masters titles, an area title, a Cornwall title, and a defence, a uh, British title, a WBO European, and now a world title. I've won them all by knockout, and it's no coincidence. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to win every fight by knockout from here on out, but... Um, Power was probably my biggest um, attribute. And now with Ben and, and Willie Wiley and Barry down there at MTK Performance, and it's just everything's so clear what I've got to do. And it's literally like, it's I can't even explain what it's like. It's almost surreal, like the, the things that you have me doing like, and the, the plan we have and how we approach each fight. It's, it's incredible. And um, I back myself now going into these into these even bigger fights. Does it speak volumes that your performance against the world champion was actually much better than against Reese Mould? Going like, do you know what I'm saying? We know you carry power, but the way you performed against Kanzu, you look like a seasoned, world class fighter. So my best friend Sam just moved to Dubai. Bless him. Um, after the British title, I, t- I said to everyone, "Look, look, the first four rounds, I was in second gear, and it looked like I got tagged in the third. And got a bit of a body and I come out and put it on him in the fourth and put him down. But God's honest truth, I was in second gear it was like for like three or four rounds because it was doing a lot and I was blocking and moving. So anyway, my mate Sam after the fight was in my kitchen here and was you really in second gear? I was like, Sam, I was in second gear for like four rounds. I, I just knew he was spending too much. He went, promise me, I, went, I promise you. So when this fight got me, he went, you said you was in second gear, you got to go show me now what gears you've got. And I, even, even the fight... Um, the week for the world title, like, I've got so much more to give. I can dig so much deeper. I can do so much more. And I'll rise to the occasion every time now with Ben in my corner and and the team that I've got around me. Like I'm just ready to to go and to go and like achieve and, and reach my maximum potential and bring out my next fight. And I want to I want to pull out my best performance again. I just want to keep improving. Like I've been back in the gym already, training, back down at six in a week and a half. So um, I'm looking forward to to what's next. Okay. Well, so after the fight, I don't think it was right to to get into that whole debate about the regular title, etc. Now you've had a, a couple of weeks to kind of pass by. And I think it's fair to say we don't call Trevor Bryant the world champion. We call Anthony Joshua the world champion. However, I was saying this to everyone the next day. Leo Santa Cruz hasn't boxed at the weight for about two and a half years. People recognise Kandu as the world champion. So you might not on paper be the, the super champion, but do you feel like you're the man? In terms of the WBA status, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I said, in, I got asked before uh, by Chris, and I, he said, "Look, the situation with the belts. If it was me, I would say, look, there should be one belt. I think, I think that the, w, the WBC would be like a diamond belt, and like other belts to interim titles. There should be one belt. I agree with you, should be one belt. But on the same hand, Manny Pacquiao got stripped from for his super title for not boxing for like 19 months. Luis Santa Cruz on box for like two and a half years at that weight." So for him to still be super champion, I don't think it's going to be much longer before he does get stripped and I'll probably will get upgraded or they might say the next fight hits the rematch, which I think is going to happen, then they might say, right, winner of this fight is super champion because it's legit. It's legitimate, like, level and, like, he's been world champion for a number of years and, it, like like you said, he's not boxed at the weight for two and a half years. So, um, yeah, I feel like I deserve he should be super champion. If I'm not on paper, I'm not on paper, but... You know, if he does want to stick around at the weight, um, I'm sh- I'm confident coming through my rematch and maybe that's a fight we can make. Um, but it is what it is, mate. I'm not too fussed about the title and the status. Like I said, 
I've gone out there and proved, proved my level and um, ready to do it again. Okay. Well, a fight that could be on the horizon uh, after your rematch with Kanzu or going well in that one is uh, a fight with Kid Galad. I've got kind of two questions on Kid Galad. Just firstly, your thoughts on uh, his performance of winning the world title. Secondly, he did come out after and say he doesn't want to fight you yet um, because he feels like, again, to the point of the regular title, that he'll only unify with you once you have the super title or if you're upgraded. Do you think that's a fair comment from Kid Gallagher? Yeah. Do you know what? For us, to, for us to, to jump in a fight straight away um, so quick would be a bit of... From a business point of view, it would be a bit of a disaster. And we want to build the fight, you know. Um, I should be getting upgraded. I can't see why not, like, hopefully do we really make the right decision um, very soon. And if not, then obviously it might be much up and then I might pursue that after that. It's a fight I can win. I believe I can win. Um, but yeah, I can understand where it's coming from. But from my point of view, let's. I think we should build that fight. It's an old British... Uh, with an old British... A world title fight, unification fight with a lot of history, a lot of history, you know, 14 years old, we used to train together, for, then up until we was like, well, up until I was nearly 30, so a lot of history, we know each other inside out, I know him, I knew what he was going to do to Dickens, I even I even made a few quizzes because I was that confident, um, it went pretty much exactly to plan, um, what exactly how I thought it would go, and um, that's not discrediting Dickens, I just knew his style of, like, the style of fights clashing, I knew exactly what was going to happen. But yeah, it's a massive fight that can happen um, and it will be bigger a little bit down the line. I think um, let the let the public watch us both in our next few fights and watch the collision course come together, I think. Well, yeah, he signed a, a multi-fight deal with Eddie Earn, so I'm guessing the plan is at the end of that to, to, box, to box yourself. And I, don't, I think it's crazy. You two have been in the sport for so long, you and Kid Galahad, also on the same path as well. You know each other very well. But you guys become world champions within seven days. It's mental that you couldn't have wrote that. No, um, it's crazy. It is crazy. And like, like I said, 14, I think the first time I sparred with him, I went up to Ingalls in my six weeks' holidays with Ricardo Sums. Um, that's the first time I sparred him. And then you know, we should help each other out. Um, I was younger, I was training, and then obviously he turned pro before me. And then I went far behind. Um, yeah, it is it is crazy and what a story and what a fight it's gonna make when when it happens. Mm, absolutely. So what's the conversation been with Dave Colwell, MTK and your trainer Ben? Is it gearing towards that rematch with Kanzu? Do you think they're gonna trigger that rematch clause? Yeah, I think so. Um obviously there's a rematch clause, so I'm honoring that, obviously. And I think it's gonna take place towards the end of this year. I can't see why he doesn't want it. I think talks have already um, already started, to be honest. So, um, yeah, and I'm confident in going out there and wherever it's going to be. I'm presuming it will be America. Um, I'm confident in getting a, a better job done this time than this than the other week. Obviously, I was limited time, uh, six weeks to prepare. I think he knew he was fighting, but didn't know who he was fighting. So he was in the gym ready for a fight in June or July. So he was prepared. I had, I had six weeks, which is five weeks of training, taking away fight week. So um, I'm, I'm 100% confident doing a better job this time. And then, um, you know, come talk to me after that fight and then we'll start looking at where we're going next. Well, hopefully that rematch, it's for the upgraded title. You bring it back to, to the UK, maybe bring it back to the forest ground, eh? That's it. I'm going today, actually. I'm, I'm leaving here in about 15 minutes and I'm going down to our first game in a very long time. Um, and I can't wait to get down there. I'm in a box today, which is, isn't normally as good as the stands, but it's going to be good to get down there. And then um, I think on Saturday I'm I'm in the stands and hopefully on the pitch. If my belt comes in time, I'll be on the pitch. So, uh, yeah, I've missed it. I have missed it a lot. Well, we'll have a relaxed kind of evening tonight in the box because I'm sure you are absolutely mobbed. And then on Saturday you can have a more hectic day with the fans uh, with your world title. Listen, Lee, great to catch up. Enjoy the game tonight. And uh, hopefully we get to speak to you when you have some more news, all right? Top man. Same here. Thank you. Top man.